This will be a quick review on my Millet LRS1 uh, 6-25 by 56 uh, scope I got here. It's a 35mm tube, tons of adjustment. Only problem is uh, the glass isn't that clear as soon as you start getting in the higher power ranges. So basically use it up to 12 and a half, and that's pretty good. The price is more entry level. Like uh, here in Canada, I picked it up for $657 including taxes and uh, gone through three of them now. They keep uh, like the first one when you unlock this, the whole turret post would would move. This one seems to be alright still too. It's got really nice audible clicks too. Nice crisp clicks. And you got tons of adjustment. So I have mine etched there for my zero at 200 yards with my 243 here. So there's 30 minutes. 45, 60, 75, 90, so 96 minutes. Of elevation, but I have a 20 minute base on this EGW base. And then, uh, oh, what's going on here now? Oh, it's stuck. Something's jammed up. I've never had that happen before, but maybe it's. Okay. All oh, the brakes started grabbing again. See, I don't know why that's happening. But, anyways, yeah. Well, there we go again. That's not very good. Uh, yeah, so every time uh, I got a new scope, which was the third time, this is the third one now, they didn't have any more not illuminated reticles left. But So you get these awesome, extremely high rings. So I have three sets of those that I don't need. So basically I picked up IOR Valdata rings here, 35 millimeter and they're low. So I definitely have a decent amount of clearance there. Like there's no issues with that. And those uh, were about $180 or something. Then I went on eBay and got a bubble level anti-cant device. So that's all right I guess that works. And then you get this nice sunshade. I haven't need to use it. I've never had the glare like happen where it was that bad and I had to use it and just to show you guys it is clear never keep anything loaded in the house so yeah and then the box this is the illuminated radical box you get to see what that's all about and the non illuminated radical box here we go. Yeah, so that's what that's what came in. It's packaged pretty nice and it comes with a nice scope cover as well, so that's alright too. This is what the reticle looks like in the Millet LRS1 6 25. It's a mill dot bar reticle. So I think it's on uh, 12 power, that from a dot to a bar is one mil, and then on 25 power it's from bar to bar. But that's what it looks like. It's relatively clear on low power, but as soon as you get dialed up past well, 12 or 14 or so, it starts getting a little grainy and you start losing resolution. So seeing long range targets gets a little fuzzy. I usually shoot this scope max 12 and a half power so I get, then I get my uh, dot to mill is uh, one mil but I don't know it's not the best scope I wouldn't recommend it to anyone I'd say save up and get something a little more higher quality like start with the vortex viper PST or something like that 
seems to be a lot better better rifle scope tracks well well this one tracks well also but I've had a lot of problem with them breaking and stuff so definitely wouldn't recommend this one it does have illuminated reticle that's night vision and then there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and I don't know why you'd want to have the light up reticle that bright and especially if you're shooting in a low light situation basically you'd need maybe the night vision setting or one because then you just blind blind yourself not see the target anyways and if you go between I'll go to 10 here if you go between it goes off but there's no click I don't know yeah but anyways so that's the illuminated reticle that you don't really need they just gave me this one because they didn't have uh, they didn't have any of the non illuminated reticle ones left in stock when I exchange it because I broke my uh, upper turret so this this scopes alright like it's kinda everything operates pretty smooth from 15 yards out to infinity and how the numbers are actually correct I usually just wiggle my eye and see if the target moves away from the reticle that's how I adjust mine when I dial out my parallax and then I showed you the clicks on this are nice and crisp that's good same with uh, same with the windage a little bit rougher though it almost seems like it's snagging on something but well, it works. The night vision setting is the first one. It's barely visible and not in the daytime. And then got 10 intensities of illuminated reticle, which is pretty much useless. You don't need illuminated reticle in the daytime. And with night vision, I guess, but there's no need to because you can't hunt at night around here in Canada, so. And there's the rings close up. Really nice rings. EGW 20 minute base. And that's my Millet LRS1 scope. And a bit of info on the box. Gives you a little bit of information about the rifle scope. So fast focus eyepiece. I wish I had a locking ring on it because once you get it set up for your eye you don't need to change it again. That's about it. Thanks for watching guys, take care.